It seems that scandal after scandal, President Obama and members of his administration say that they didn't know about the problem, well, until they heard it on the news. Mm -hmm. But President Obama appeared to contradict himself when he said this on his three-day fundraising trip out west. Quote, whatever they're reporting about, I usually know. Well, it does make sense that President and his people <laughs> should know what's going on, well, given all the information at their fingertips, but listen to the administration's past explanations about when they learned about all the scandals. If you mean the specific this. allegations that I think were reported first by your network out, out of Phoenix, I believe uh, we learned about them through uh, the reports. Well, let me take the IRS uh, situation first. Uh, I first learned about it from the same news reports that I think most people uh, learned about this. Uh, I think it was on Friday. Let me just be clear. We don't have any independent knowledge of that. He found out about the news reports uh, yesterday on the road. I think we learned about it uh, after that from the press accounts that were in the paper uh, following the IRS's notification to the Congress. Ah, oh. okay. The IRS, the VA, I, could go I get on it now. And on and on. They can't even get their story straight. Which I one get is it, it now. We watch the news now. We didn't used to watch the news. Right? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, or, well, or we used to watch the news, and now we don't. We just I, I mean, it just flip flops. Okay, I think what the pre I didn't hear what the president said. I don't watch the news, but I think maybe what he was saying is like it doesn't. Six thirty, he doesn't say, "Okay, family, let's sit around and watch Walter Cronkite like they used to, and sit back and watch the news." I think when breaking news happens, my I'm positive they're putting on the Fox News Channel. They want to see what's going on, but I don't. I think that's what he was trying to say. Is like I'm not really watching the news, and also he's getting so much criticism in the news that he's got to like say, well, I don't listen to what they say. I'm doing my own thing anyway. I'm not obsessing over what the news is Isn't saying. Isn't that what's happening here? Can't we make the assumption that now he's saying he doesn't get his information from the news because he's been watching the news and we've right. been talking about him learning everything from right. the news? Yes. Yeah. He's been brutalized because people are saying, where's your leadership? The president isn't supposed to have to sit down and watch the six o'clock news mm. to figure out what's going on. So I think he was brutalized and we all held him, held him to account. So now he's coming back and saying, oh no, no, I mean, I watched the news but I, I already know what's but happening. But well, how inauthentic were his comments when you heard him in the first place and you heard Jay Carney saying, we found out about it from the news. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, if you're going to give an excuse, don't, do, right. don't give one that makes you look completely incompetent. Or makes it look once again like they think we're a bunch of idiots. Like we're sitting home and saying, oh, the president didn't find out about that till six. And if that is the case and he's learning in. about these Come scandals, on. like the long wait times and deaths happening at the VA from the news, shouldn't somebody have lost their yes. job? Yes. Right. No. Nobody loses yes. their job like, in this administration. Someone, somebody should know that outside of a news agency. Somebody, that is somebody's job, right? And there's, there's, there's the head of the VA. Somebody's right. supposed to know these things. Yes, the president should not be learning those types of things on the news. But also, Harris, some, do, 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 you do you believe then that his comments that I don't pay attention to the news, I, I don't, don't know either. which one to believe no. because well, as I said, he's told right. two he different too stories. Big. I mean, it has been, I watched the news, I found it out here, I don't watch the news, I didn't find it out there. But there was something else in what he said, though, and, and it's a direct response, I feel, into the other criticism that, that you hear about the Obama administration, and that's the I didn't know defense. He says he already knows. He had to hit a twofer there. Not only do I not watch the news, but I already know. So, so they really can't use the defense now, mm. per the NSA, the VA, and all of the other, you know, the investigations that are going on. Fast and Furious, just to, you know, kick right. it old school with a scandal. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know. Every time they're doing cleanup, I think from a PR perspective, it makes it worse. Because now if he's saying, I already know everything, I knew all this then he chose inaction. He chose not to speak right. up about the VA scandal. He chose to not do anything about the IRS. And he already knew. I mean, this thing gets messier the, the more lies you tell. I can hear Art in the back of my mind saying, <laughs> well, did you know it then or do you know it now? Right. <laughs> if you, if you cross-examined him on it, he would be made right. up mincemeat. He'd be shredded. He probably is making an offhanded comment in yeah. a fundraiser in a very, very comfortable place, right? Everyone in that room is giving him $10,000 right. $10, to be there to say hello. Yeah, so, be comfortable. Right, exactly. So he's probably <laughs> saying, yeah, look, don't, I don't care what they say anyway. I'm going to do my own thing. Right. I don't even listen to them, which obviously is not He also accurate. knows now that people are expecting leadership. They, even if he doesn't know, they expect him to know. So he better start pretending that he knows or that he knows what's going on. And somebody in that administration knows what's happening right now, given what's going on. So he knows we're, we're watching.
I wish they would stand up. Who do you think knows what's going on? I, you know, I don't. Well, I looked up <laughs> what the president's right. favorite TV shows are, you? and this is according to the Telegraph, that yeah. number six on the list is Sports Center. That's news. Mm. That's I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't that think that's news. news. Well, we they show some news. news. You yeah. might not have news from Sports, Sports Center. <laughs> yeah. New violence in Gaza. Neither side appearing close to backing down as Israeli troops battle Hamas militants. The latest on the conflict and the new grading system in one school district, which is ditching A, B, and C for a bunch of different letters. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at whether the system is helpful or just plain confusing. And right after the show, head to the web for Outnumbered Overtime. Log on to foxnews.com slash Outnumbered and click the Overtime tab. Send us your questions, comments, comments or tell us what you want to hear us talk about. Twitter, Facebook, email, we're all there.